The president's visit to the central bank was aimed at discussing the country's finances, taking into consideration the geopolitics and a number of other external factors. The Bank of Namibia is projecting a slightly more than 3% growth for the economy this year, mainly supported by strong performance from the mining industry. This growth would be a relief given the five-year contraction which Namibia's economy underwent. President Gengop commended the central bank for aiding the government to stave off the impact of the global economic shocks on the domestic economy. I'm glad to be here to come and learn what we are doing. And I was very much impressed, to tell the truth, for what I've seen. I have seen that we discuss the problems that the world is facing financially. We discuss our own problems that we're facing in this country. We all know that. We are looking at uh, green, uh, some kind of shoots from this very difficult situation we are finding ourselves. And coming to the bank, I was hoping to be told everything is okay, money is here, economy is doing very well. But no, I was not told that. I was told the reality of our economic situation, the reality of the world economic situation. And also maybe what measures we must take to live in within our means and also to prepare for tomorrow. And tomorrow definitely looks much better. The new discoveries of oil and the development of green hydrogen has led to major economic powerhouses in Europe and Asia to partner with Namibia for the development of the industries. But the president cautions that the benefits be spread across the country as he called on the central bank staff to shun tribalism, regionalism and other divisive tactics. We are becoming more tribal now after 20 something years, 30 something, more tribal. And what is worse is it's a younger people, to my surprise, who are more tribal. It's frightening. Younger people, educated people. So let's build this American house. It's the only place, this country is the only place we can call home. That's Harambe together. And we're going to reach one day there. But I'm telling you, we got oil now. We got, we are going to green hydrogen. I never knew those things. Green hydrogen, what is it? I learned about it only now. And future is there. We have green hydrogen and earth. But oil can be a curse. We are learning, therefore, from others to avoid mistakes they make. And it must be of equal distribution. It's not one group gaining, one group or one region gaining and so on. The central bank leadership maintains that its decisions are in the interest of Namibians and the economy, though tough at times. One such is the interest rate hike to 5,5% recently, the highest in the last 10 years. The governor, Johannes Kavahab, while sharing the bank's vision, says the anticipated growth would be fueled by the natural resources and subsequent value chains. Through effective monetary policy and an inclusive, modernized, stable financial system, our mission is to support sustainable economic development for the benefit of all Namibian people. This mission reflects our commitment to support socio-economic progress and sustainable economic development in Namibia. As the Bank of Namibia, we remain committed to leading the vision and with integrity. The Bank of Namibia is expected to continue to share research and findings of the economic outlook with the cabinet. Blanche Corres, NBC News.